So I'm reminded of this quote, tough times never last, but tough people do. Robert H. Schuler. This quote reminds us that even in the hardest moments, resilience and perseverance can help us overcome challenges and emerge stronger. It highlights the importance of staying strong and focused in the face of adversity as difficult times are temporary. And with tenacity and determination, we can navigate through them. Parents' uh, journey with, child, with a child with FASD tends to be filled with ups and downs. Sometimes it's a long, difficult journey and a challenge. You might feel like giving up or like a terrible parent. I did have a few days where I questioned if I was doing the right things, the right way, and if I could do more. But every day is a new chance to make progress. Showing kindness, patience, and understanding can help a lot. That's when I realized that taking small steps and celebrating the small wins can make positive difference. When your child is enjoying and engaged, then I've done a good job and stop questioning myself. Although I can attest to it being crucial to have a strong support system, friends, family, or even other parents with similar struggles. Together, you can find the best ways to help your child and celebrate the unique strengths and abilities. Despite all the challenges we faced, my family is doing well. We learned a lot and found ways to navigate through the ups and downs of raising a child with FASD. We embrace the uniqueness and strive to provide them with the care and support they need. We celebrate their successes, big or small, and love them unconditionally. The exact way we would a child without FASD. As a child with FASD shouldn't be labeled or tagged with having FASD. It's just a part of who they are, not what they are. We started off parenting that way throughout childhood. Through that, we have grown as a family and become stronger because of it. Our child is 13, progressing very well, understanding FASD, embracing it. But the one thing that our child keeps asking is why? Why me? Why did it happen? We keep researching and sharing the research with her, but it's not enough. It's just not enough to satisfy a child. They want to know more. But I didn't mention that our child is adopted and that it plays a crucial point. It's nothing that I've done wrong or my spouse. And I'm not wanting to say that it's wrong, but it's something that you miss. FASD is something that's missed in the system as far as knowing what to do and not do. The diagnosis was a turning point for our family. At first, it brought feelings of sadness, the sigh of relief, and uncertainty about the future for all of us. That wasn't a time for tears at all. It was the opposite. This was an opportunity for us to lead us to seek help. Keep ourselves always educated and up to date uh, to understand FASD and better understand our child. Let me say this again. FASD didn't define our child. It's just a part of who our child was and is. Today, we focus on strengthening our bond as a family and supporting our child in every way we can. We've become more resilient and have learned to appreciate and value our unique journey as we all travel along together. The FASD program at Regional Children's Center has been tremendous support for us throughout our journeys. They provided us with valuable information and resources specific to FASD, 
helping us to understand our child's behaviors and challenges. The dedicated staff offered support and guidance, and we learned effective strategies to manage our child's needs. They also helped us connect with other families dealing with similar situations, which is tremendous. As a parent, I have been very involved in the FASD community and resource sites that are available to keep us educated. It has also provided a supportive community along the way as well, and making us feel less alone in this complex journey. I encourage the community to be more aware and understanding of FASD as a whole. It's a complex condition that affects each person differently. And one size doesn't fit all. It's important to recognize people with FASD and face unique challenges. But they still have strengths and abilities to offer. By creating a supportive and inclusive community, we can help individuals with FASD thrive and reach their full potential. Are you aware there are five FASD facts compiled from CAN FASD? The first FASD fact is a whole body lifelong disorder caused by prenatal alcohol exposure. The second one, FASD is more prevalent than autism spectrum disorder, cerebral palsy, and Down syndrome combined. The third one, the Center for Addiction and Mental Health Research identified 428 co-occurring conditions with FASD. And the fourth one, 90% of individuals with FASD have mental health disorder, and depression and anxiety are most common. I leave you with this quote. As Helen Keller once said, although the world is full of suffering, it is full also of the overcoming of it. These words remind us that even in the face of adversity, resilience and perseverance can lead to triumph. And the journey of living with someone with FASD, this quote serves as a reminder to stay resilient and hopeful knowing that each step, no matter how small or challenging, can contribute to progress and triumph.